Mr Speaker, I must express my disappointment that the House has again uh, voted for delay, rather than a timetable that would have guaranteed that the UK would be in a position to leave the EU on October the 31st with a deal. And we now face further uncertainty, and the EU must now make up their minds uh, uh, over how to answer Parliament's request for a delay. And the first consequence, Mr Speaker, is that the government must take the only responsible course and accelerate our preparations for a no-deal outcome. But secondly, I will speak I will speak to EU member states about their intentions until they have reached a decision. Until we, uh, they have reached a decision, I must say, we will pause this legislation. And let me, let me be clear, let me be clear, our policy remains that we should not delay, that we should leave the EU on October the 31st, and that is, that is what I will say to the EU, and I will report back to the House. And one way or another, we will leave the EU with this deal to which this House has just given its assent. And I thank, and I thank, and I thank members across the House for that hard-won agreement. Yeah.